what's up everybody welcome back to my channel and on of taco tuesday i'm gonna show you how i make my fire ass ahi tuna tacos and i tell you these tacos slap they go crazy i got tired of eating the same old tacos with the beef cheese lettuce tomato so i was like you know i'm about to try something different and i really ended up liking this recipe so i just wanted to share it with you guys so first you see me um cutting up two avocados putting it in my ninja chopper Y'all, if you have a chopper or a blender or a puree machine, you kind of want to do the crema in that. It makes it so much easier to mix up so it has like a smooth finish. Next, you want to grab you some sour cream. I just took two big scoops of sour cream. I didn't really measure. None of this stuff is really measured, to be honest. I just did two large scoops of that. Then you want to go in with one lime, squeeze the juice inside the chopper with the rest of the ingredients. And then you're going to put a couple cloves of garlic, some pepper, some salt. I put a little onion powder and then fresh cilantro. Then boom, blend it up. And then you got your crema. That's it. Simple. And like the consistency is so creamy and good. I love it. Boom. Now we're going to get into the red cabbage slaw. So I just grabbed the red cabbage that's already chopped up in the bag at the store. So it's one less step I got to do. I don't gotta worry about cutting it up. It's already cut up for me. So I just took a hand, um, a handful of that, put it in the bowl, and then I'm gonna dice up some red onions, followed by some uh, jalapeno. So with this, I don't really like spicy. So I did take out the seeds on the inside. If you like the spice, you could just cut it up, you know, dice it up regular how you like it. But I didn't want it to be overpowered with spice, but I did want the jalapeno flavor. So I went ahead and just did a half of one. Again, this is all to taste. So if you like more onion or you like more jalapeno or more cabbage, you could just add more than what I added. This is just to my liking. The point of this recipe was to basically just have a crunchy factor, a sauce, and then a protein. So that when you bite into it, you have all of these textures and flavors hitting you at the same time. So I'm cutting up some fresh cilantro after that. And then you want to go on with some extra virgin olive oil, or you can even do grapeseed oil, and just mix everything together. Don't forget the salt and pepper. Now on to the tuna steaks. So I like to get the frozen bag from ShopRite. It's like a specialty bag of the tuna steaks. Um, so I just defrosted those, rubbed it in some olive oil. Listen, y'all, less is more, in my opinion, with this... Um, with this recipe because we already have so many different flavors hitting you um, so I just really decided to season it with some salt and then I had some chili lime seasoning that I love I put that on the um, tuna steaks hit me out it's gonna be good and then I had a little bit of like garlic and herb seasoning there's no salt in that it was just flavor so I went ahead and patted that into the steaks as well all right, so y'all, hear me out. Um, a lot of people, when they make the ahi tuna steaks, they leave it like kind of like rare on the inside or like medium. These I did cook well done just because I haven't been wanting to eat any raw fish lately for my own reasons. So I made these more so on the well done side, but still so flavorful, so juicy. So y'all, this is literally one of my favorite taco recipes to make. Just let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this video or if you like the recipe. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more cooking videos in the future. And I'm super excited for y'all to see everything that I come up with. See you next time.